Our researchers in Singapore have found that light may play a bigger role than water conditions in the longer-term survival of mangrove seedlings. The year-long study looked at conditions that uh, affected natural mangrove regeneration, such as flooding, salinity and light. They monitored more than 2,000 naturally established seedlings from 16 mangrove species in Pulau Ubin. For more, we're joined by Research Lead Associate Professor Mikhail von Breghol uh, from the Department of Environmental Studies at Yale NUS and Department of Geography at NUS. Oh, welcome, Professor. Now, I would love to know why it's so significant to know that light may play a bigger role than water conditions in the long-term survival of mangrove seedlings. Um. Until now, mangrove restoration has been very much focused on water levels, uh, inundation time, uh, which is obviously does make a lot of sense. It's a big important factor and a stressor for mangrove survival. Uh, much less in, uh, attention has been played for uh, on the role of light in the survival of different types of uh, mangrove species. And what we found is that uh, that the light is also a differentiating factor in which species are successfully able to establish and survive in different parts of the mangrove forests of uh, Pulau Bin. So how will this influence uh, the work of protecting mangroves and ensuring the survival of seedlings going forward? I think the important thing from our study is, uh, first of all, that survival is low in general, uh, and survival is affected by uh, many different factors, including inundation time and light. Um, I think it's very important to uh, notice that different species respond in a very different way to the different conditions. And therefore, it's also very important to plant in a very uh, high diversity of mangrove species and to try to plant mangrove species according to the conditions that are um, better suitable for, for them, for the survival. Until now, mangrove uh, planting and restoration is, is very often a bit of a trial and error uh, system uh, with uh, often not very much uh, success, unfortunately. So we just need better data to better provide better guidelines okay. uh, for the different species, where and how to plant them. So you, you've got um, some better data when it comes to light. You, you, you know that certain uh, seedling species survive better than others. Uh, are you then confident to say that this 20% survival, which is really quite dismal, uh, can be raised to maybe 40, 50% survival rate for seedlings? For certain species, yes, by uh, properly uh, planting them on the places that are suitable for them. You have to see that seedlings are uh, by nature not established on the most, uh, the better or the optimum positions. They're just kind of randomly dispersed uh, by the tidal movement and um, getting stuck at some place and, and, and might not survive. If we plant them, we should in a certain sense do better than that and plant them where they do well. So, yes, I think with proper management and proper guidelines, uh, that could be better. All right. So um, it sounds really optimistic. Uh, where does the, the role of um, rising sea temperature and climate change uh, complicate, you know, this whole process of seedling survivals uh, in a time where we actually need it more than ever, especially in Singapore, to combat the effects of climate change? That's something we, um, it, it's a big question. So rising sea levels uh, have a large effect on the conditions that affect the survival of uh, seedling establishment and survival of mangrove species. Uh, or not only uh, rising sea level level, but stronger storming uh, events, etc. cetera. Uh, so that's, that's indeed a problem. On the other side, uh, there have been studies that show that mangroves are able to, at keeping pace with sea level rise by creating sediment and building elevation not through below ground biomass. So it will probably uh, depend on where we are and, and what kind of mangrove species are, are present um, and uh, under the physical conditions, etc. But yeah, I think it's, uh, it, it's something that uh, needs quite urgently to be addressed uh, much more. Well, we wish you luck in, in, in finding more information that would help uh, our mangroves uh, survive and survive for longer. That was Associate Professor Mikhail von Bregholt from Yale NUS uh, speaking with us there.